everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your button layout when you're playing on your Steam Deck. And you can pretty much do this with any game. So I'm playing Rocket League right now. I'm going to press the Steam button. And then I can see the game Rocket League here. I can go to the right. Here's the controller settings. And then I can go to controller settings, see all the different buttons. Press A on this. Now here is the different layout. I can go to the back buttons and I can remap them right here just by selecting it and going to a different button if I really want to or changing it to a completely different action. Otherwise, I can look at the different layouts. I can go over to like the community layouts. It doesn't look like there's any on here, but there's some templates that you can use. And you know, the basic one seems to be fine for Rocket League, but there's tons of different things you can choose. Well, we can go to edit layout right here. And this is where we can remap everything. So we can go to the A button. We can change this to any action under here. We can go to a mouse or a keyboard click, action ses system, or what is this, camera. So there's tons of different things that we can just completely remap on this controller. So maybe you want the bumper to be like jump or something. You can do that under here. Then we got the D-pad. And then the triggers and the joysticks. Now, for the joysticks, one thing I like to remap or just to redo is the dead zone. So I go to a custom dead zone, so I'm a lot more accurate with the aiming and stuff. So set the dead zone to like 2 to 88 or something. That might be a little bit good. But it doesn't seem like um, stick drift is a huge thing with 2 to 3 dead zone on there. But if I have a set to no dead zone, I definitely will have just a slight amount of stick drift. And then you got your uh, stick response curve right here. If you play Call of Duty, you might know kind of what these are, but we got like five or six different options in there. So we can look at that. And then we got the trackpad down here. And then the gyro too, if we use this in any kind of video game here. But tons of different options for your controller, even in non-controller supported games. Now, if you're trying to play like Battle Bit or something like that, it's going to take a while to get your controller set up exactly the way you want. But you can definitely play games, and once you got it set up, you're good to go. Hopefully, this quick little video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up, and subscribe my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.